Good morning, my lovely viewers, and welcome to Real Talk. I am your host, Eve Nyaga. So we've been told so many times, be peaceful people, preach peace, and anywhere you go, make sure that your acts, make sure that, ensure that the environment is peaceful. But where do we start when we tell people to preach about peace? So you can be part of this conversation by telling us where you're watching us from or sending in your question and comments on social media across on social media on eSacute across all our pl platforms. Or you can reach me directly on my social media platforms at Eve Anaskonyagawan on Instagram and Twitter and Evelyn Nyaga on Facebook. So today in studio, I'm joined by two gentlemen from Amani Clubs, and they'll be telling us where peace starts. Welcome. Thank you very much. So I'll start with you. Kindly introduce yourself um, and tell us what you do. Yeah, thank you. My name is uh, Dumbe Dirito. Um, I come from the Abadea region. I'm the assistant coordinator of Manea uh, Peace Club uh, um, region. Mm -hmm. I also am a teacher at a school called Kiaragana Girls mm -hmm. in Kirinyaga. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, also advocate uh, through counseling um, in schools issues to do with peace. Mm -hmm. I'm very grateful that you have hosted us today. We are glad to have mm -hmm. you. Kindly introduce yourself. And my name is uh, Fred Kevin. Mm -hmm. um, I am uh, professionally uh, a trainer on character development. Mm -hmm. That is what I speak about. Mm -hmm. I'm also part of Amani Club Association mm -hmm. as an event organizer for the uh, Abadea region mm -hmm. together with Mr. Mm -hmm. Dirito here. And uh, we are so glad to be here to talk about peace and encourage the youth to carry it forward. Yes. Um, so, Mr. Dirito, yeah. tell us what Amani Club is. Well, um, after the post-election violence mm -hmm. of 2007 and 2008, uh, there were issues that arose about how our society is bled. Yes. And uh, the government took initiative to form an organization called NCIC, mm -hmm. National Cohesion and Integration Commission. Mm -hmm. This uh, uh, organization that is in the Ministry of Interior mm -hmm. uh, came up with the concept of the Amani clubs in schools and has been selling this idea of Amani club in schools since uh, that period. And we have been initiating clubs uh, so as to preach peace to the young people. Yes. We know that uh, when you bring up a child in a peaceful way, he or she is going to be uh, an ambassador of peace naturally. Yeah. And that is why uh, the NCIC has been supporting these clubs in mm -hmm. schools so that we can establish an incubator mm -hmm. of uh, peace ambassadors right from the young people. Yeah. Research has shown that when you train a child in peace, mm -hmm. they will naturally become peace ambassadors. Yeah. And that is why we have been talking about money clubs in schools. Mm -hmm. And I'm here uh, representing the Abadea region. Mm -hmm. um, I am the uh, assistant coordinator. Uh, my boss is uh, called uh, Obati, mm -hmm. who is from Muranga. Okay. I, uh, and we have penetrated many schools, mm -hmm. but we want to speak to more schools yes. in order to preach peace. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's just like a normal club, like drama club, journalism club? Uh, it is not uh, as normal as mm -hmm. uh, maybe... Okay, well, maybe again. normal is not the word, but yes. it's just like another club like drama club. Yeah, it is another club, like drama club, mm -hmm. although it cuts across all those other clubs. It's okay. like an umbrella of clubs oh, yeah. because mm -hmm. we pick people from uh, different clubs mm -hmm. and we congregate them oh, together okay. so that when we release them, they're going to preach that piece in those respective in, oh, yeah, clubs. Yeah. Yes, okay. but it, it works just like any other club mm -hmm. in, in a school. Yes. yes. Um, Mr. Kevin, yes. Um, you said that um, you teach character development yes. and we are saying that when we need to teach young children from the word go. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. how, what does character development have to do with training young children? Mm, I'll take you back a bit to uh, the politics we have today. Yeah. Um, if you look at our society today, mm -hmm. um, trust is something that is so hard to find currently. Yeah? And uh, you'll realize that uh, even trusting a politician becomes a very big issue. Sure. When youth go to forums organized mm -hmm. by politicians, they expect to be paid mm -hmm. not to mm -hmm. receive what the politician 
actually came to, to give them. Yes. Um, or even to uh, pass across their message. This is mm -hmm. what we want you to do. Mm -hmm. Why? Because um, if you look at character, character simply means uh, the mental or uh, 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 the, the, what are they called? The moral values yeah. that are key to a person. Mm -hmm. So that means that integrity is very key in mm -hmm. character development. Yes. Integrity simply means becoming one with yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, for majority of young people, or even let's, to, uh, let's take the concept of peace. Mm -hmm. For there to be peace, you have to be, and I have to be, and he has to be, and everybody else, we have to be one yeah. with ourselves. Mm -hmm. So that means that my word, my action, and my promises yes. are actually one. Mm -hmm. Now, um, for there to be peace, we have to ensure those three things are one. Now, currently, we say one thing, do another, promise mm -hmm. something entirely different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there is always going to be that conflict, conflict yeah. with ourselves, first mm -hmm. of all. Because for you to have a sense of identity, you have to know yourself properly. Mm -hmm. And I think that is one of the main things that I found to be missing. And that is why um, character development is so important when it comes to uh, creating peace in our society. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Um, so can you tell us what activities take place in the money clubs? Well, there are so many activities and they are grouped into various categories mm -hmm. uh, to rhyme with the activities of a school. One, we have academic activities. Yeah. We have uh, debates that are organized at the school level mm -hmm. and also at the uh, regional level, uh, the national level. Mm -hmm. For example, j uh, just the other day uh, in June, we had the national uh, debate competition in Mobasa. Mm -hmm. That way we are trying to help people e uh, articulate issues to do with peace. Uh, we also help them to have critical mind. Yes. Because you cannot have uh, people who are peaceful if they cannot critique what is going on mm -hmm. in their environment. So we help them to do that. Number two, we also have writing competitions. Uh, the students uh, sit together and they uh, write uh, essays on uh, issues to do with the peace and also the environment because the environment is very crucial yeah. on issues to do with the peace. Yeah. Then uh, within the school we could also have uh, dialogue meetings where people now uh, critique the environment and the issues that uh, bring out uh, conflicts. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we also have issues, and this is where I fall, very, uh, uh, I fall um, and I like this area very much, that is to do with guidance and counseling. Mm -hmm. In guidance and counseling, as he is saying, mm -hmm. there is an issue of uh, moral development. We train, we teach uh, these young people on issues to do with, with, with the conflict resolution. Mm -hmm. And it is not just about conflict resolutions within the entire uh, school, but also starting with themselves. They have issues that are burning in them. Mm -hmm. They have issues that they have carried from home. Yeah. And they need to resolve those issues before they can resolve the in, uh, uh, interpersonal uh, issues. Yeah, sure. So they start with themselves through guidance and counseling. Mm -hmm. Number two, uh, we now go to the next level, mm -hmm. and that is interpersonal. Mm -hmm. The interpersonal part is where now they interact in the classes. Mm -hmm. They are growing up, and they may not ha have the, the, the skills mm -hmm. to know how to interact with each other and from time to time they are going to conflict so how do they solve these conflicts yeah. then there is that the, the third level and that is the level of the the, the students versus the uh, the teachers mm -hmm. how do they uh, uh, resolve conflicts because when they are interacting with the teachers they will tend to come up with their own opinions about the teachers about the policies of the school if they have issues with the, those uh, policies how do they manage uh, the, the, the differences. Yeah. And lastly, I uh, talked about schools being an incubator of peace. Mm -hmm. So how do we prepare these people mm -hmm. to, 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 to face the society out there yeah. in order for them to become peace ambassadors? Yes. So it starts from the personal level mm -hmm. all the way to the, uh, the, 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 the national level. Yeah. Then the other activity we have are cleanups. Mm -hmm. Uh, we need also to interact with the environment mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, one way of uh, maybe creating that aspect of peace in a person is how they treat the environment. Yeah. If you are a person who 
keeps on uh, interfering with the environment, mm. there is an element of lack of peace in you. So oh. we train them to interact with the environment mm -hmm. in the right way through cleanups, mm -hmm. through tree planting, yes. through uh, creation of, uh, of uh, or uh, establishment of nurseries mm -hmm. and other projects within the school. Mm -hmm. Then we also use these groups to go out of the, of, of the school environment to interact with others with with other uh, with the community yeah for example they can also have clean up in hospital mm -hmm. clean up in um, in the market mm -hmm. they can also interact with the the less uh, advantaged people in the society yeah. like in children's homes yes. they visit them they give them uh, whatever they could uh, they could in order for them to uplift their hearts yeah. so we are training them to be all rounded yeah. among That's other good. activities mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. um, you talked about events and yes. um, as I can hear from him those are a couple of events that you've done yes. so how successful have these events been or rather the goal that you intended to achieve did you achieve it um, I'll give uh, one kissing uh, point mm -hmm. Uh, last year, there is a school uh, called Kirimara Boys High School in uh, Nyeri County. Yeah. Um, they were all over the news mm -hmm. um, in regards to a strike that they had. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, this year, they were the key target. Yeah. Yeah, we wanted to, to see, can we be able to turn that around? Mm -hmm. And we did a very massive event there. We had uh, an attendance of uh, 1,500 students mm -hmm. um, from uh, across the Abadia region. Okay. Um, and uh, I, I am happy to report mm -hmm. um, that school has been so peaceful mm -hmm. and has been a key part of uh, selling our message mm -hmm. in terms of it's not something they are putting out there to be, to sort of, show yeah. that we, we are trying to be um, peaceful. But in real sense, in the school, mm -hmm. you can actually feel the peace. Mm -hmm. um, they've gone for an entire, from January to this point, no strikes whatsoever. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the suspensions and so on have reduced significantly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the other event we had is at Tumutumu Girls. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I love about that school is the fact that uh, the principal herself has ensured that every uh, point of leadership in that school mm -hmm. is centered around Amani clubs. Mm -hmm. So if you want to be a leader, you mm -hmm. have to first of all go through well. Amani club. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah? So every single club, every single class has an Amani ambassador in them. Mm -hmm. And they actually take that to the society. Mm -hmm. yeah? we, we had an event with them. That entire week had uh, a set of events for, for the society. They went to Tumutumu Hospital. They went to Tumutumu Primary. Mm -hmm. They gave uh, uh, sanitary pads to... to, to the girls in that school mm -hmm. and the most one of the most amazing things i found is they did not only think about the girl mm -hmm. but they thought of the boy as well <laughs> mm -hmm. and they also gave them gifts yeah which was really amazing mm -hmm. um so we've uh, we've had events in uh, nyeri kirenyaga we've had a few events mm -hmm. we, we had a peace debate at uh, uh, baricho boys so we've we've really tried to 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 be as uh, as out there as possible mm -hmm. and um I think we can we can actually gladly report that uh, that et entire region, especially mm -hmm. the key areas we've really focused on, which is Kirinyaga County and Nyeri County, strikes have really reduced. Yeah. And we are really hoping that this can be now a trend yeah. where in we no longer regions. see strikes in our schools. Yeah. Peaceful young people in our schools, mm -hmm. peaceful country. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, it's something that uh, we need also to just take it beyond the schools, but also to families. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because... Um, as we've seen in majority of the cases, the students we've dealt with, mm -hmm. majority of them are saying it's actually not that stress mm -hmm. is coming from school. Mm -hmm. We are very comfortable in school. So you're saying, um, before we get to the families, one of the problems that causes um, this unrest in schools comes from the families. Yes, uh -huh. from this perspective. Mm -hmm. um, imagine, um, so there is me, mm -hmm. there is uh, my friend, let's give him the, the name Mike. There's a uh, Anthony on the other hand. There's another guy there. So I come from uh, a, a, like a family that never knows peace. Yes. Mom and dad, the mom and dad, they do fight every mm -hmm. single day. Mm -hmm. uh, my brother and I fight every single day. And I come back to school with so much uh, stress and pressure. Mm -hmm. Now, Anthony on the other hand, 
um, has been molested by the father or the mother. Mm -hmm. And there's another girl there who goes through the same, same thing. Yeah. So we've not resolved that. So all of us are coming to school mm -hmm. looking for a place. The, the thing about um, unrest even at home is mm -hmm. it robs you of a sense of belonging. Yeah. So when you come to school, you want to belong somewhere. Mm -hmm. And trust you me, there is no better place that one can belong, and I'm speaking from experience, mm -hmm. than cool. in a place where you just don't care. Yeah. Everybody around you doesn't care. Mm -hmm. So all those heads put together, that's where we are experiencing a lot of unrest in school. Mm -hmm. So yes, family is one of the key, mm -hmm. uh, key areas that really robs off peace in our society. Mm -hmm. Do you mind mm -hmm. sharing maybe other issues that came up um, when you're trying to settle these conflicts, especially when it comes to schools? <sighs> It's, it's, well, I can't really share all the stories. There, there, there mm -hmm. are quite many, and mm -hmm. most of them are quite heartbreaking, to mm -hmm. be very honest. Mm -hmm. um, and especially, uh, and I'm not saying the boy child is not going through um, the same, but from the girls' schools we've been to, mm -hmm. there's, there's really a lot that is happening. Yeah. And we've gone to schools where girls are sexually molested by their parents, mm -hmm. by their brothers, by their cousins. Mm -hmm. um, and when they tell the parents, mm -hmm. the mother or the father, they are threatened yeah. that if you actually take th this through, mm -hmm. we are going to take certain actions, you are going to be kicked out of home. Mm -hmm. So it's quite heartbreaking that the one source that you are to feel safe around, mm -hmm. the one place that you are to feel, I actually belong and I am loved, is the very place where that sense of belonging and peace and love is taken away from you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, from the boy's perspective, we, we've seen a lot of absentee fathers, mm -hmm. and not only fathers, but even mothers. Mm -hmm. And uh, boys are left to uh, now figure out what it means on your own to become yeah. a man, yeah. which is very difficult. Because when you do that, um, for example, you may tell a child, uh, I don't want to see you outside, mm -hmm. so I want you to lock yourself in the house. Yeah. What you've actually done to that child is you've allowed the child to go to their phone mm -hmm. and bring the world to the house. Yes. So if I want to know uh, what it entails to become a man, mm -hmm. I'll just Google online. Mm -hmm. So some of the, uh, uh, the, the, the definitions of how to become a man or how to handle some of the situations of stress in life um, are interpreted or are given by people who are also going through a similar through thing that you're going yeah. through. So mm -hmm. all of you end up being very confused and very broken. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I think there's a lot that we need to do. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of sensitization that needs to be uh, taken across, especially from family level. Yeah. And let's create spaces where at least young people can feel free to really talk out their issues. Mm -hmm. I was talking uh, a while back to parents in a school, and I told them one of the main challenges men have, and especially young men nowadays, is you are told mm -hmm. so you can't talk <laughs> your yeah, issues you can't out. Talk, yeah, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have to keep on piling mm -hmm. up yeah. issues, piling up it issues, wrong. and that is what we are seeing in society. Mm -hmm. So you end up seeing we have very huge cases of suicides. Mm -hmm. I was reading a, an article a while back. Um, produced by one of the uh, uh, media houses. Mm -hmm. And they were saying in Nyeri County alone, 120 people commit suicide every single month. Majority are men. Yeah. That yeah, is very I've sad. I've seen a documentary on the same. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see, um, it, I was reading yet another one where uh, it was saying seven out of 10 girls mm -hmm. between the ages of 13 to I think 18 or 24 mm -hmm. are having sex. Mm -hmm. That's a very young age yeah. and that's a very big number. Mm -hmm. um, but we need I think to sit and ask ourselves why is this really happening? Mm -hmm. And I think um, we, 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 we have to really uh, create character. What character does to yeah. you is it makes you um, question yourself, mm -hmm. question your morals and it makes you be true to yourself. Yeah. So I think yeah. Mm -hmm. Around that topic, I think, yeah, that's the main thing. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what are you doing when it comes to the family levels to make sure that peace entails? Um, there are so many things that need to be done and mm -hmm. there are so many things we are doing. For example, um, we have um, in schools established uh, something we call family units. Mm -hmm. uh, we train peer counsellors 
and that is one of the concepts of uh, money clubs yeah. and also uh, the National Association of Counseling Teachers. Mm -hmm. We have uh, brought together those, uh, those concepts where we train the peer counselors and from there we are able to contact or to reach the parent. So the meetings are organized in the, uh, at the school level mm -hmm. um, and uh, the parents and the students come together so that they, are, uh, they, they can interact mm -hmm with each other and a guided environment, mm -hmm. uh, a safe environment. As he is saying, there is a lot going on in the families. Yeah. Uh, as a counselor, I may not talk about this on media, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it is quite worrying mm -hmm. that uh, I, I think that uh, our morality has gone to the dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, the children who are molested by their own uncles, their own brothers have dealt with cases of incest within the family. You've left them there. Yeah. So what happens or what uh, is happening now is we are trying to uh, ask schools, let these people come together in a kind of a family day. Uh, I'll be launching one in Makweni uh, next month mm -hmm. um, where we bring all the parents together, we talk to them, we uh, bring the teachers on board mm -hmm. because these teachers are the ones who are going to be taking care of um, taking care of, of the students in school and they have more time with yeah, them yeah. during the period that is called the adolescent period mm -hmm. they have more time with the teachers than the parents so we bring the parents together so that they can continue with the same molding number two is uh, we have um, we have that element of uh, church yeah. coming on board mm -hmm. Um, I uh, minister with the Redeemed Gospel Church Karatina mm -hmm. and we have what we call the teen classes yeah. and we bring parents uh, and their teens together. Mm -hmm. When we do that, we are trying to cross the gap between the teens yeah. and their okay. parents. Yeah. This is a very sensitive period mm -hmm. for the teen because they are, they, they, they are, their way of looking at the world is disrupted yeah. by the internal changes that mm -hmm. they have mm -hmm. and also the external changes. So the expectations are different from uh, uh, what they expected as a child as they were growing up and they could run to their moms and their dads and uh, tell them what is going on. When they come to the age of 12 onwards, mm -hmm. they no longer are yeah. comfortable. Yeah. Are, it is called the delineation of the parent. Mm -hmm. And we can, uh, research shows mm -hmm. that parents who spend more time with their, with their kids doing activities mm -hmm. that the kids like, mm -hmm. the parents may not like it, yeah. but they kid likes the, the activity, for example, playing of chess, mm -hmm. playing of darts, uh, even throwing bo uh, uh, balls around, yeah. praying together. Mm -hmm. When we bring at, them at the adolescent uh, stage, at the adolescent stage mm -hmm. these people manage their adolescence successfully. Yeah. But parents who talk to mm -hmm. their, their, their kids, mm -hmm. kids tend to block. Mm. So even when you need this child, mm -hmm. this child is no longer there. Yeah. Psychologically they have blocked. Physically mm -hmm. they are there, but psychologically they have blocked. So you, we need as parents to learn parenting skills for the adolescents, mm -hmm. and it's very crucial. Mm -hmm. So we use the schools, we use the churches, mm -hmm. and we also use the communities. Yeah. I'm uh, presently working uh, with the, the uh, the chiefs around uh, my area mm -hmm. to see that we could bring uh, families together or we could bring these people together, the, par the teens and the parents together, mm -hmm. so that we can talk to them at the village level, mm -hmm. so that uh, they can expand the, that knowledge to the schools when they, they, they open. Yeah. But in conclusion, there is no peace without work. Mm -hmm. We must work for that yeah. peace. Not just talking it is, about it. It is not more just action. talking about it. It, yeah. is, it is, must be more action oriented mm -hmm. than just talk. Mm -hmm. Because our country, uh, unfortunately, is full of talk. Yeah. Through, uh, through, uh, describing what is going on. Mm -hmm. But they are not acting. Yes. We must be proactive. Yes. And we must engage ourselves with these young people. Yeah. That is my call for this mission. Mm -hmm. That we must engage. Because... Once a team does not cross over successfully, mm -hmm. we have one more person, a candidate for jail. Yeah. Once a, a, a team does not cross over uh, successfully, mm -hmm. we have another potential broken marriage. Yes. And the cycle continues. Mm. 
and therefore the society becomes chaotic mm -hmm. and we only depend on uh, people who take advantage of us. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So how many schools have you managed to form their money clubs? Mm, currently, mm -hmm. Kirinyaga, I think, is one of the regions or one of the counties where a money club has really taken root. Mm -hmm. um, partly, I think, uh, because his, uh, his school is on that side, so mm -hmm. they've managed to really push the agenda on that side. Yeah. Um, in Nyeri, mm -hmm. there are schools which have a money clubs, mm -hmm. but I think uh, there's a lot of follow-up and sensitization, sensitization, uh, sensitization that needs to be done yeah. for them to understand the key role of a money club. Mm -hmm. Because um, just as you mentioned initially, um, you, you did ask, is, is a money club sort of like a normal club? Yeah, yeah. We want it to be an extraordinary mm -hmm. club. Yeah, um, uh, with 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 uh, whose message can be communicated to the entire school, mm -hmm. and not only to the school, but out of our money clubs in those particular schools. Yeah, the same character, the same lessons, the same values that are shared there. Mm -hmm. The leaders who are going to be turned out from school, the yeah. leaders of tomorrow, mm -hmm. can come out with the same same values. Yes, and um, well, uh, I, I think you would better have the statistics of the exact schools mm -hmm. in the entire, uh, the entire country that have signed up for the same. Yeah. Um, but uh, we are really trying to sort of now get it to the schools. And we've seen by the mm -hmm. the schools which have taken uh, Amani clubs in their schools mm -hmm. so seriously, mm -hmm. that club is having a big impact and change in their schools. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, that's good. M maybe I could add, uh, there is another um, area uh, or another uh, county that has penetrated and I think uh, the penetration level in uh, Muranga mm -hmm. is very high. Yeah. Thanks of to their money club. Yeah, of their money club. Uh, thanks to Mr. Obati mm -hmm. who is uh, the coordinator uh, in that uh, county mm -hmm. and also uh, he is my boss. Yeah. As I said, he is the regional coordinator uh, of their region. Mm -hmm. He has been able to penetrate uh, that using uh, Kesha. Yeah. That is the Kenya uh, Secondary Schools Heads Association. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have seen a lot of goodwill from the Heads Association from Muranga. Yeah. And I wish that uh, that could happen in other regions. I also want to, uh, to, to mention uh, Anne, the coordinator, um, Kirinyaga County, mm -hmm. uh, and um, Madam Asumta, who is uh, uh, the principal uh, Kiburia Girls. Mm -hmm. uh, she has really worked for Amani clubs in the region, because yeah. I'm talking about the region. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. that there is a lot of penetration in other areas mm -hmm. like uh, like the, the coast region. There is okay. a lot of penetration because there is... So it's all around, it's not it's only in Abadea. It is not just in Abadea. Okay. It is all over. We okay. have uh, Western, we have uh, Nyanza. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of penetration. Yeah. In fact, uh, we have more penetration in certain regions of Kuala and uh, those areas, and also Eastern, mm -hmm. uh, thanks to um, the coordination by the way the chairperson the national chairperson uh, comes from the coast region mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, mr kibe mm -hmm. in nyeri we have the upper region that has also penetrated uh, thanks to uh, the coordinator mr mugusu who is working very hard there yeah. and uh, the the lower part has not uh, really uh, shown some uh, sparkles mm -hmm. but uh, it's a challenge now that we're going to get out there yeah nyadarwa has been in the lull mm -hmm. uh, and i'm challenging the coordinators there to uh, up the game <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, Kiabu also has uh, some light, mm -hmm. uh, but we need more activity there. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we have uh, an all-rounded club because mm -hmm. it is supported at the national level by mm -hmm. the NCIC. Mm -hmm. and I believe that after this, uh, this uh, uh, show, mm -hmm. we are going to have uh, vibrance in the, in yeah, the, in the whole region. It, yeah. And I also want to mention that uh, these, uh, I think uh, from 10th, Mm -hmm. uh, some of the patrons are headed to Kigali mm -hmm. uh, for uh, benchmarking. Yes. Uh, they want to know what is re this uh, real thing about uh, the genocide. Mm -hmm. How can we uh, 
plant the seed of peace mm -hmm. even after the chaos that uh, uh, that happened in uh, in yeah, Rwanda yeah, yeah. Uh, after the genocide mm -hmm. or during the genocide mm -hmm. so they will be headed there from 10th to 15th mm -hmm. and I, I believe they're going to come up with, uh, to come with the lessons and yeah. we want to have more activities mm -hmm. and because I'm speaking for the Abadea mm -hmm. uh, I'm challenging schools without the peace clubs mm -hmm. to uh, start up those mm -hmm. uh, peace clubs. Mm -hmm. Is there, is there um, like, w what is required for a, an Amani club in a particular school? Uh, simply have people yeah. who are willing to uh, talk about peace. Mm -hmm. I I'll be mentioning maybe later uh, something about conflict resolution and mm -hmm. what, uh, what we can have in a school. Mm -hmm. But um, we only need willing people. Yeah. Uh, a willing patron mm -hmm. and a willing group of mm -hmm. people, uh, he brings them together, they do an election mm -hmm. in that uh, school so that they can have a chairperson, a vice chairperson, a secretary, uh, a treasurer, and then uh, any other post that they would want to have. Mm -hmm. And then they have, uh, they can get uh, the write-ups from us, yeah. how to manage a money clubs mm -hmm. in schools. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, booklets that mm -hmm. we give out, and we also have other organizations that support the whole mission. Mm -hmm. So simply walk out there, say we want to start a peace club, identify mm -hmm. a patron if you are the stu a student mm -hmm. who is watching us, mm -hmm. uh, identify a patron, talk to them about peace clubs, and then establish one, then get in touch with us. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be giving the contacts. And then after that, mm -hmm. we will train the, uh, the, the patrons. Yeah. Like we, uh, I, I believe um, in, in September, we'll be having the training in Nyeri mm -hmm. of the for, piece the of the, for the patrons, yeah. uh, thanks to the NCIC. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to have them have the, the skills mm -hmm. of uh, managing those clubs mm -hmm. and when we do that we also ask the principals in those schools to support their man clubs yeah. they could be at the the, 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 the infancy stage mm -hmm. uh, but they can work miracles I have seen that happen mm -hmm. I've seen hap that happen in Kirinyaga schools I've mm -hmm. seen that happen in Moranga schools in Nyeri schools yeah. so it is uh, something that we can do mm -hmm. uh, as, as, as an initiative let yeah. us be proactive mm -hmm. yes so as we wind up I, I wanted um, you share the contacts that mm -hmm. um, if maybe a school um, or maybe a student mm -hmm. um, wanted to contact you so that they can have the, the club in their schools? Um, my number is uh, 0720 26 10 69. 0720 26 10 69. Mm -hmm. They can SMS uh, their contacts uh, so that we can uh, send those uh, booklets to them mm -hmm. via uh, WhatsApp. They can also reach me on uh, uh, Facebook, Dobe uh, Wadarito, mm -hmm. and we can uh, chat. Yes, what yeah. about your contact, if you don't mind sharing? Uh, my contact is 0721-931-8236. Uh, 0721-931-8236. Mm -hmm. So I would love to continue sharing the conversation and even in, our, in, 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 in my own community, my own bank, in background, um, I'm also doing a bit of activity mm -hmm. with the young people in, in, uh, in our community yeah. just to ensure that uh, we are able to take that message of peace mm -hmm. to the very grassroots. Yes. Um, and uh, I, I just hope the next time we come here, there is going to be bigger impact. And yeah, yes, than that's than true. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We'll do like a follow-up to see how far you've gotten with the yes. initiative. Yes. So thank you so much for coming for the interview. Yeah, the and it's a good job that you're doing. Yeah. And um, we hope that it becomes, it has a bigger impact in the, in the long run. Yeah. Yes. Could you kindly repeat your social media um, Facebook page and your contacts? My uh, my contact is 0720 mm -hmm. 261069. I'm Dombe Waderito. And uh, uh, on Facebook, um, Dombe Waderito. Just Dombe Waderito. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think there's any other one. Mm -hmm. Then there is uh, also the element of um, the, the slogan uh, Speak Peace, Be Peace, mm -hmm. Talk Peace. Okay. Yes. So once again, thank you so much. 
Um, I want to sample some of the comments that you've sent in on our social media pages. We have Kamau Gitari, Watumaini, watching from Tumaini, Nyandarwa County, Apa. Venus Kinyuzi, thank you so much for tuning in. We have Beres Ranju, um, um, Kamuiro tuned in from Karura, One Love, One Aim, One Destiny. Thank you so much for tuning in. We have Wawero wa keyboard, Naivasha Mirera present. Charles Ireri wa Shamata, morning watching from Shamata. Honorable Kaba Munyoroku, Kirenyaga tuned in. So I can see people from your region are tuned in. Yeah, thank, yes, you. Thank, thank you so much for tuning in. And as you have heard from the gentlemen, it starts all the way from the grassroots. Let's teach our children and the young ones how to be peaceful people. And it's not just talking to them. Engage them in activities that will allow them to preach peace. So don't you go anywhere. More of Isakut coming your way. <laughs>